Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Hope you're having a good day. Come on with us to 1 Corinthians chapter 12 this morning. I would like to speak about, I'd like to talk about speaking in tongues and what the rules were uh, for speaking in tongues back in the first century. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12 at verse 29, he says, it says, Are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, are all workers of miracles? Do all have gifts of healing? Do all speak with tongues? Do all interpret? The answer to all those questions was no. So right out of the gate, I wanted you to see not everybody had the gift of speaking in tongues, even back then. So when people today in the charismatic and Pentecostal movements talk about how that sign will, that anybody who's a true disciple will speak in tongues, not everybody spoke in tongues even back then in the first century. Now, in, in verse 31, he says, but earnestly desire the best gifts. Okay, well, what are the best gifts? Chapter 14 and verse 5, he says, I wish you all spoke with tongues, but even more, that you prophesied. For he who prophesies is greater than he who speaks with tongues. Speaking in tongues was not even the greatest gift. The Corinthians had elevated it, and a lot of people today elevate it, but it's not in, in Scripture. He, he's telling them, no, it's, it's not even the greatest gift. Look over in chapter 14 now. In chapter 14 and verse 27, we have another rule. It says, If anyone speaks in a tongue, let there be two or at the most three. In chapter 14, verse 27, And each in turn. Things were very chaotic there in Corinth, and God is not the author of confusion. That's why later on in the chapter, he says, Let things be done. Let everything be done decently and in order. Things were very disorderly, and they needed to bring some order to the chaos. So let two, or at the most three, each in turn, and then you have another rule. And let one interpret, but if there is no interpreter, let him keep silent in the church. It had to be interpreted. If it was not interpreted, they were to keep silent. All things had to be done for edification. And gobbledygook is, is not edifying. You have to understand and if it's not understood, it does you no good. And that's our last rule. You can tell from here, but you can see it even more clearly in Acts chapter 2 when the apostles were speaking in tongues on the day of Pentecost. And men and, men and women had gathered from all those different nations, and each one understood in their own language. Again, it wasn't some, it wasn't some language that you could not understand. It was an intelligible language. These were the rules for back then. Compare it with what you hear about today, and you see it's not quite the same. Now, we'll say this, whether the gift is for today is a whole nother question. But I just wanted you to think about these few points with us this morning. Thanks for studying with us. God bless you. Be a blessing to others. Hope to see you tomorrow.